peace and blessings this is a shantae tay queen fernandes of gemini holistics and this is the march soulmate reading for leo march 2020 hello leos how are you guys doing today i'll be doing your soulmate reading For those of you who are new, thank you and welcome. Welcome to our channel. I focus my soulmate readings on like a more holistic approach for those who are wondering. Um, I also use the Crystal Oracle deck by Rochelle Charman as well as the Romance Angels deck by Dorian Virtue and the Whispers of Love deck. So which is by Angela Hartfield. Yeah. All right. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Open up, call upon Archangel Mikael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel to be in the four corners. To cleanse and clear this space, I ask that you open up a divine line of clear and truthful energy, all negative entities and energies. We banish to the four corners now. You're not welcome here, I say. Please give me a soulmate reading for Leo, March 2020. Ooh. Okay, sorry. Some of the cards kind of fell. Let's see. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Just trying to adjust this so you guys can see all of the cards here. All right. So, Leos, this side of the deck is you, which is my left, and this side of the deck is your partner. Okay? So, let's start. I mean, of the spread. So let's start by looking at Opal, which is joy. And this comes up as your primary card, which is the theme of the energy of your entire reading. So it looks like we're looking at a very healthy soulmate interaction with each other. We're looking at a very healthy and happy exchange. We're looking at um, some joyfulness coming in, some some peacefulness coming in or the the discovery of that energy as it pertains to both of you okay so let's continue on and see how this this part of the spread applies for both of you so let's start with you leo and start with the card black obsidian which is the shadow okay so black obsidian which is the shadow is in your physical space so this means that for you physically, you may be going through a purging period. You may be feeling like there's different energies that are coming up to the surface. Um, you might be uh, looking at or facing some of your inner, your inner issues or your inner demons, if you will. But you're doing it in a way that's actually for finally putting some perspective on that. So it's actually about working through and healing through some of those issues. So for some of you, it could be a little bit of a tumultuous tumultuous um situation but it looks it's upright so even if it is something that's hard that you're dealing with or something that feels like it's not something that's positive even even those situations are going to actually be turned around for your highest good um 
So it's really just about facing what those fears are in a healthy and balanced way that's going to allow you to be able to expand your idea, expand your concept of soul bond, soul relationships, and karmic energy. So it's really about you going in and doing that deeper inner healing work that's necessary, facing those inner issues in a way that's really bringing forth some type of change and healing for yourself. Okay, Leo, let's look at the next card, which is your emotional space. And we have Harkham or Diamond here, which is dreams in this deck. And this is actually in the emotional space. So this could actually be referring to two different types of interpretations. So emotionally, you might want to be paying attention to your dreams. Um, paying attention to uh, what's going on in your sleep cycle and, and things that are coming to you, premonitions, symbolism, ideas that are coming into your mind while you're in the dream state because messages can be transmitted possibly about the subconscious issues that you might be facing from really going ahead and taking the initiative to go in and do that, that foundational work that's necessary for you to heal. Also, this could be about you reassessing your intentions to manifest things, like reassessing what your overall life goals are, what are the things that you want for yourself, what are the things that you see for yourself, and how are you going about that, and, and really addressing that in a healthy way that's going to bring you in and closer to that alignment. So what I kind of see is someone who is focusing on healing those obstacles and going through some of those issues, but in a way that's more balanced so that they can bring themselves to the other side to manifest the goals that they want to be able to receive. And what I ran and when I say manifest goals, I'm talking about from your emotional perspective. So for some of you, I'm kind of getting like an intuitive prompting, like family is a big part of that. So maybe some of you might be family planning, wanting to get married or wanting to have children or wanting to um, engage in like a partnership and feel like you're, you're a part of something. Family is something that's very important to most Leos. Um, there is that uh, close knit energy that's really, really um, something that they they thrive on. So they thrive on being in those, they engage in those types of um, relationships. So what are your goals as far as manifesting the family that you want or the family dynamic that you want? If you already have a family or even interacting with your natal family, which is, you know, the people that you're born into that that level of closeness. So just really reassessing what those energies are and how those energies um, enter, enter into the idea or the picture of your soulmate relationship, okay? So if you guys are, again, like I said, someone might be wanting to have children or seeking a partnership around um, opening up that space, okay? Um, the next card that comes up for you is Amazonite, which is life purpose. And this is in your spiritual um, category. So we're looking at Amazonite, which is life purpose. So spiritually, you're you're really about finding what's working for you as far as your life purpose, your destiny. And that's probably why you you have so many major themes coming up as far as shifting yourself, shifting your inner energy and shifting how that energy is aligning for you, Leo. So it looks like it's a very positive journey. All of this is going to bring you closer to your manifestation of your destiny to uh, being in um, that type of relationship that's really healing that you want. I, I initially forgot to pull the other card. So let me do that right now because I'm feeling like some of the romance angels have to say is going to really come in and clarify some of these things for you. So hold on. Let me get the romance angels deck involved. Romance angels, please give me insight for Leo soulmate reading March 2020. Okay. Okay, and the final card for them, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, so it's coming back again around about healing some of those issues. So some, I'm going to go over the cards that you don't have to worry about them right now, but it is confirming some of the things that I'm feeling intuitively about this particular reading. So for those of you who are watching this reading who are Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus, you guys are uh, looking at some of these particular major themes and it's, it's about healing that 
and taking off maybe some of the ideas of like self delusion or ideas of like releasing old ways of looking at things so that you can really focus on manifesting those goals. I'm also going to pull these um this whisper uh whispers of love deck. So let me pull give me a message. Okay. Yeah. Big focus for you is the romance area. All right. So going back um, to looking at your partner, let's bring up your partner's energy, Leo, sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus. Let's look at your partner's energy, red jasper, healthy boundaries. All right. So we're looking at um, someone who might be establishing what their healthy boundaries are. Um, they might be learning to say no, learning to say no to others' demands on their time and their energy, but also creating us. It almost seems like somebody building a safe space for their family or like building a safe space with putting like the boundaries on other people. And this might be a very specific situation, so this might not apply to everyone, but I see someone who's also like... Other people in an outside situation are talking about your family or talking about your partner choice or your soulmate or your, the person that you're choosing to engage in relationship with. And and the partner is just sitting there and being like maybe in the past they might have allowed other people's energy or their opinions to affect how they feel. They're putting those healthy boundaries up. Um, in a way that's kind of shielding out some of the negative energy from the world and really working on building and cultivating that inner sanctum, that inner relationship harmony there. For some of you, that might not apply, but I kind of get that that's a very specific message. So this might be for a short am amount, a number of you, or maybe only one of you. But this is like the energy that I'm picking up. Um... But overall, this energy, again, like I said, this is about someone realizing their worth, realizing their value, realizing what they bring to the table, and then allowing themselves to admonish that and allowing themselves to recognize um, their own worth and their own value and what they contribute to things so that they're not overexpending their energies with others, okay? So let's look at the next card, which comes up, which is Tiger's Eye, and that's Courage, and that's in the emotional position. So Tiger's Eye, which is courage in the emotional position, learning to address those issues. And that kind of goes with the healthy boundaries, really standing up for what you believe in, for what you feel is right, for what you feel is important in your life. And this might be about your own happiness, putting your happiness first. Maybe there might have been pulls again, like I said, from the outside world, different things different people kind of coming in or different situations kind of coming in and challenging that, but you're standing up to that and saying, look, my emotional happiness and my emotional um, completion with this with this partner with Leo is really important for me. And it's really something that I'm going after. Um, I mean, there could be a situation where you might be feeling, Leo, like your partner is looking at you and saying these things to you and you might have to do some introspective um, work on healing how you might have been violating some of that energy for your partner in the past but I really don't feel that very strongly I feel more strongly like it's outside forces or outside people um, or outside situations that they're kind of learning to stand up against because again I would see more evidence of other types of toxic cards and I and I really am looking at it like mm, I kind of don't see that there could have been some um, issues with infidelity or other things, but that's not really something that I see coming up for a lot of you. But some of you, this might be the case, like working on rebuilding a relationship that there was some infidelity or maybe some distrust or like working on those types of issues. But that's not at the forefront of what I'm seeing. So black tourmaline protection coming up in the spirit and it's inverted. So really leo's partner i'm gonna ask that you really understand that you are spiritually protected okay you do have all that you need spiritually to be able to go on this journey to go on that healing space but beware there could be other people again like i said there could be energy vampires there could be other outside forces or negative entities or things of that nature that may be challenging you inside of yourself so i would you know go ahead do some safe some smudging, um, do some spiritual protection work around myself, keep myself alive, maybe carry some black tourmaline and some tiger's eye on you. 
those types of things could actually help you to increase the uh, spiritual energy so that it's not negative um, and that you're not being negatively affected by other people's energy and their bad vibrations, if that makes sense. So the final card that comes up for you is learning, which is fluorite. And this is in the outcome area for both of you. So this experience is going to result in you guys learning a lot about yourselves, learning a lot about what it takes to make you guys have a happy, content, and settled life. So I do see a lot of opening up, a lot of expansion, a very beautiful soulmate connection that's coming in here for you guys, Leo. It's just about doing that healing work that's going to bring in that positive energy to that next level. So actually, let me clear this part away and focus on the... romance angels deck so let's look at romance angels and see what they have to say so the first card that comes up here is the deception card inverted and it says someone is wearing a false self mask in the relationship inverted so it looks like in the in the near past is there was some issues with deception so this could have been the person not being truthful with themselves you not being truthful with yourself leo uh, and you guys not being honest about what it takes to have a healthy happy relationship and that can apply to all types of different things across the board again like i said this could be infidelity for some people this could be those things but it's a shift and those things are in the past those things are changing that's not what it is anymore but in the past that has been the case or it might have been one of you who has been in relationships or been in situations where other people have been unfaithful and this is just Disrupted your ability to trust um, the other person. There's some type of issue with the trust, but that that is in the past and it's being healed and it's being shifted. There's a realization that you deserve love. You are lovable in the current space. And that's why there's all of that major energy work that's being done on healing yourself because it says you deserve love. You are lovable. So that energy that you're bringing in is like, okay, I'm focused on healing myself and doing what I need to do because I know that I love is for me. That love is something that's coming in that is, that's, that's right for me so i'm going to do that healing work that's necessary to bring about those types of relationships into my life healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so again like i said remember how i was saying you were addressing some of those deeper issues earlier healing family issues is about that looking at the dynamics in your primary family so that would be your parents and your siblings looking at that space there looking at the energy and the interactions there and healing that and in the future you're going to be addressing some probably some inner child issues around how the dynamics of that relationship had worked and how it had affected you in the past you'll be healing through some of those particular things and that's what's going to come up and be necessary in order for you to have a healthy and happy relationship with your partner okay Okay, so romance, it says lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So really work on securing that bond with your mate. Work on creating an environment where there's honesty, emotional honesty, and that's going to develop intimacy between the both of you so that you guys have a deeper, stronger romantic connection and bond. All right, so that's what I see for you, Leo. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. Stay tuned for the all the other readings should be posted by now. Um, and you guys can go check out your other signs. Again, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. So make sure you go check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus. And make sure that you kind of get some more like diverse insight because these are general readings. For those of you who are interested in personal readings, all of the information for that, oops, excuse me, is below. Sorry about that. Um, all the information for that is below. So you guys will be able to look up that as well. Make sure you subscribe, join the Gemini family and hit the notification bell so that you're aware when we upload new content. So, um, and of course I do upload in order of the most viewed um, readings. So the more people that watch your sign, the more people like that get 
into this from your signs um, is going to increase the, where your position is and when you're in the upload schedule. So make sure you're sharing this video with as many people as you possibly can so that we get our views up and also so that we get higher in the upload schedule. All right. So love you so much, Leos. Um, thank you so much for spending this time with me. And I hope that these messages were insightful for you as well as healing. Peace and blessings and goodbye.